Bagels Cracker Gas. Welcome to Love at First Sight, if you can obviously tell from that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. It's in Japanese a little bit, but you know, it's all good. So yeah, what is this game? To be honest, I play a lot of weird fucking shit, but, but I don't want to spoil it for you because this is, um... I think this will be interesting here, so I'm, I'm just gonna hit the start button. I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah, you can't stop me. <laughs> okay, let's do it. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can guys maybe guess what this is gonna be game is gonna be about. Maybe. Oh, okay, there, there's the title scheme. Act 1, Catch My Eyes. Oh, okay, sure. It's a short little game here, so... Um, you know, it's early in the morning. This is uh, the path I always take to get to school. Oh man, the colors are really vibrant. I, I'm really digging that. <laughs> that. That's nice. Um, I, I normally have to hurry, but today I'm taking a friggin' easy. I'm going for a stroll. Got my headphones on. Well, I always have these on when I record, but, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I had a little extra time to get out of the house, which is kind of unusual. This game's already like me now. <laughs> like I don't have fucking time to get out of the house. That never happens. <laughs> I'm feeling good under the warm morning sunshine and the cool morning breeze as I head to school. Ooh, it's it's always at the school. It's always the school boys and girls. But I guess that's how it is. All right. Oh, all right. Oh, damn. Even a new background CG already. Damn. All right. Cool. Am I gonna have to click some? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, I'm not in a hurry, but it still doesn't take long to get to school. My house isn't right next to the school, but it isn't that far away either. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, I, I, I used to love walking to school, too, as a kid. It was great. It was, it was just fun journey there. You see your friends along the way. It was, it was real nice. No what the fuck you say. <laughs> Even if I don't live as early as I did today, I never had to run, run to get to school on time or anything. You know, that's what I'm thinking as I change into my school slippers. Oh, yeah, that's right. They change, school, like, their shoes as they go into school. That's, that's always weird, but all right. I'm, I absentmindedly climb the stairs, heading to my classroom on the second floor. Class 2-2. Yes! Wh wh which classroom is it, guys? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I, I put my hand on the door to open it. Oh, okay, what? You gonna use the force to open that shit? Alright, and then... Oh, okay. Oh! Okay, cool. <laughs> she, she's all starring. Is, is she like checking out her nails? Did you just fucking do them? Is that, is that what you're looking at? Because it looks like you're not looking at me. <laughs> but all right. And why is your skirt like all whoom like that? But whatever. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, oh, Makun, good morning. Um, you're, you're here earlier than usual. Well, how unlike you. Well, thank you for calling me a fucking late bastard, but th thank you. Um, her loud ear splitting voice shakes me out of my morning days. Oh, okay. Um, uh, g good morning, a Akimi. Oh, my name is Mamoru. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh god, Mamoru. That that reminds me of like uh, Until Death Do Us Part. That guy's a fucking badass. If he has ever read that manga. Um, I I see you're getting a head start on being loud and obnoxious today. Well, Mamoru, you're already being a dick. <laughs> we already got a nice standard going on here. And damn, girl, you're really flexing your fucking neck. God damn, you must work that shit out. Um, not, I guess I'm not one to talk sometimes. My neck looks kind of weird sometimes. <laughs> um, oh, oh, there we go. Um, well, there's nothing wrong with being energetic. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say anything about that. Oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, this over, overly spirited person is Tsunumi Su uh, Akami. Fucking nailed it, I think I got it. Um, she's always like this. The kind of person who's always going full throttle from the moment she wakes up until the moment she falls asleep. Oh, okay, well there you go. Um, you know, you're not energetic. You're out of control. But I don't know, she seems kind of normal to me right now, but I, I guess that's what I, I should be expecting by now. Uh, morning, Tomo. Uh, you know her better than I do, right? Uh, does she have a volume knob? <laughs> Whoa, okay, I guess new character. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so there, there he is. He's even got like a little earring thing on there. Do they allow that in school? Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, morning. I've known to Akami for a long time, and I can say for sure that no, she doesn't. <laughs> oh, come on. I know you still like it though. Um, this is o Ochiai. Oh, God damn, what a name. <laughs> D -D -D Moyori. He's a zombie in contrast to Akami's liveliness. Oh, so so the foil. I, I get what's going on here. Oh. Uh, uh, but, like Ak Akemi, his energy level is constant. He he's lifeless all day. Every day. <laughs> oh, jeez, the poor guy. Um, 
Well, yeah, I've only known her for a little while, but I'm starting to realize that. Oh, okay. You get used to it. <laughs> oh, okay, bud. Um, I'm giving him my sexy voice there, you guys like that. <laughs> okay. Um, Makun, lately you're starting to treat me as bad as Tomokun. <laughs> Aw, don't be like that. She's cute and quiet. Although she has no nose. Where is the nose? <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that's typical anime. Oh no, she's got mushrooms coming out of her face. <laughs> oh god. And she's still checking out those nails, but alright. Um, is this really how you should be treating someone you've only known for two months? Well, you're putting up five, so I'm guessing I've known you for five, <laughs> but alright. Uh, considering how annoying you are. Wow! Do, do you really expect me to treat you any differently? Holy shit, dude! Um, yeah, I've only known these two for about two months. So, I've gotten pretty close to them in that time. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm Fukunoi Mamoru. F -f -f Fukunaga? <laughs> I don't know why it's annoying, but alright. Fukunaga. Alright. Uh, two months ago, I had to switch high schools because of my parents' work. Like every other typical anime. <laughs> Jeez. Um, fall's almost over. I transferred in the middle of the season. Because of that, I was a bit on the, a bit of an oddity among the other students. I was really nervous at first, but luckily these two came along and we became friends. Oh, there you go. Alright. You don't, you don't have a right to be picky right now, okay? You know, well, that's me, Tomo-kun. Stay something, stick him, boy! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, it seems like you two are getting close. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, thanks to- What is he even doing? I don't know, all he's saying is just nothing. Alright, whatever. Hey, well, don't ignore me! <laughs> Aw, poor Akami. Uh, Akami, I, I can't say her name. <laughs> um, I can say for sure that Tomo is a real reason I'm comfortable here right now. Oh, well there you go. Okay, he's, he's laid back. I like laid back guys every now and then. They're cool. Uh, he doesn't take care of his appearance. And he's not the warmest person you'll ever need. But he's pretty smart and ultimately a good guy. I learned how dependable he is pretty quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, ignoring me is not forbidden, you hear me? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're still ignoring her. We might be ignoring her, but I guess I owe Akame as well. <laughs> yeah, she seems really fun. Uh, the fact that she's so annoyingly loud is her only real flaw. I don't know anyone more inspiring than her. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, lately, Akame has been trying to get me to hang out with her and Tomo all the time. What's wrong with that? Um, the two of them seem to balance each other out, though. It's not a perfect balance by any means. From what I hear, they've been friends since they were kids. Though Tomo once told me, she's basically just been following me around this whole time. <laughs> oh, you like it. You're a childhood waffle friend. Come on now, man. Just accept the love. Uh, the bell rings. It's only time for homeroom. Oh, okay. Um, where's the uh, first period today? M math. Our homework is due today. You did it, did right? <laughs> oh, oh, I hope so. Well, yeah, yesterday I finished with time to spare for a change. I was actually able to get to bed early because of that. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I said ignore me was forbidden. Hey! Oh, wow, well, we're talking about the homework. All right, whatever. I'm sorry, girl. All right, so we're in the classroom now, and uh, there's nothing on the board. There's no teachers. There's no students. There's not even seats. What's going on? But all right, the morning lessons end, and, and the lunch time begins. Okay. Oh, oh, oh lunch time. Time to eat. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, as usual, we always have to, an eating scene in the anime. <laughs> We moved from our classroom to one farther down the hall. Uh, we're the only ones in here. The Nakami's thundering voice echoes in the empty classroom. <laughs> God damn, girl, keep that out of control. Um, not, not that I'm really wanting to say anything, but, but editing c controls it. The three of us have been coming to this empty classroom for lunch since I transferred to the school. Okay, oh, so that's why it's empty, all right. Um, well, on the menu today is Southbury Steak. Awesome! Oh, okay, what? Are, are we all eating that? Um, what are you, a kid? Come on! You can at least, uh, lower the volume during lunch. Tomo, help me out here. Oh, okay. After a moment, Tomo replies, What do you want me to do? Then he just sighs and snatches out Kimmy's chopsticks from- What? He just stole her chopsticks? What's that about? Okay, how's she gonna eat? Hey! Then, as Akimi opens her mouth to protest, Tomo stuffs a piece of salary steak into her mouth. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Now, they get it out, you know, without me here. I feel like a third wheel right now. This is weird. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cute. That's, that's cute. Uh, she seems to have forgotten anything she wanted to say when the food entered her mouth. And she quietly chews it. Wow. Jesus. 
Her mood improves a moment later, and expression dissolves into bliss as she chews. She's really an airhead. Come on, I, man, they're really picking on this poor girl. I don't think she deserves any of this, but all right. Um, um I'm not a keeper, you know. <laughs> um, you know, it could have fooled me. Well, who else would hold uh, back the freight train of a girl? <laughs> oh, come on, you know you love her. Uh, you think I can hold back a freight train? Well, I don't know, maybe you got superpowers, bro. A and the way you put your hand in your pocket is a little bit weird, but <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not here to judge. Um, okay, well, may maybe not. Um, well, exactly! <laughs> Wait, you're agreeing you're a freight train now? Come on, girl. Um, I can be cries, spewing food. Oh, goddamn. Didn't realize this is what she did. She hastily closes her mouth and swallows. Oh, get the steak all over the face. Oh, I'm, well, I'm the number one most cheerful girl in town. Tsunami Akiniche. <laughs> oh, okay, self declaring that. that that's, that's great. You still look at your nails. Um, and with that, she goes back to eating her lunch. Um, I guess she can't stay quiet for long, no matter what she's doing. Um, the most cheerfulest girl in town? I don't think you have any co competition for that title. Why does everyone just keep- Alright, whatever, just keep making fun of her. Um, oh, no kidding. She's one of our school celebrities. Oh, well there you go. It almost starts at his own lunch. Um, seriously? One of? You mean there's more? <laughs> oh no, now we're gonna find out the other idol lose. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, actually, that's what I said. Yeah, our high school has a lot of unusual students. Uh, I'm guessing we're all the part of them. <laughs> and there's a lot of rumors floating around uh, concerning our school, it seems. Oh, okay. Wow. What other kinds of celebrities are there? <laughs> I, I I don't know. Um, you don't know any about, about any of them? Well, first there's... Oh, okay. Tomo takes a quick glance at Akame, but she seems to be lost in her food-inducing paradise. She's not even listening to us anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. So is he saying she's the first one then? All right then. Uh, well, there's a lot of them. If you really want to know, I'll tell you later. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Just build it up like that. All right. Sure. Th thanks. Thanks for that. Um, he doesn't want to talk about this in front of Akami. I guess it's a touchy subject, but I'll make it a point to ask about it later. <laughs> oh, well, she she doesn't take pride in the fact. All right, all right then. Well, all done. <laughs> You eat way too fast, jeez. Uh, crap. I really touched it on my own food while we were chatting. I should have started on my lunch while she, she had her mouth closed. I'm not gonna be able to get another chance. No, just stop it, man. It'd give me a reason not to talk. All right, whatever. Well, hey, what were you two talking about? Um, you, most of the time. Um, I was recounting the epic song of how you won your fame. He seems to be really interested in it. So I wanted him to hear it from the source. Oh! Oh, okay, so that that's what was up. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, no! So now he doesn't have to talk and he can eat his food? Oh, no. Oh, really? Well, sure thing, Makun. Uh, do, do you want to hear about when I saved the town for the first time with my fantastic powers? I haven't met Tomokun yet, and... Oh, boy. No, no, I, I, I really don't want to hear about that. Come on, Tomo. <laughs> Shit. Um, uh, a minute ago, you told me to take care of her. Now you're telling me, I'm telling you to do it. I haven't even touched my food yet, so you can be her friend for a bit. <laughs> oh, what a guy. And without a second glance, he starts eating his lunch in silence. Oh, Makun, are you listening? So anyway, my mom had gone out shopping and... <laughs> okay. Well, no, uh, you, you're the one who needs to listen. Man, how do I get roped into this? <laughs> oh, okay. And so, for the rest of the lunchtime, I got stuck listening to a story while I finished my lunch and gave her the occasional nod. God, this, is, this poor guy treat this girl like shit. All right, well, well, there you go. School ends. All right. Um, huh? Makun? Where's Tomokun? <laughs> I don't know. He's probably gonna fucking book it, I guess. Uh, Akami calls out to me as I'm packing my stuff. She rushed out of the classroom right when the class ended. It seems she came back just as quickly. Oh, well, okay then. He said he had some things to take care of back at his place and left a little early. What's up? Oh, okay. Oh, really? Hmm, well, uh, c can you take this to the third year classrooms for me? I promised to return this before the end of the day, but I've got a, a club meeting and I gotta go, so... <laughs> oh, so you're just making me your bitch? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, she, she hands me a small paper bag. It's just, I, I'm used to being a little bitch anyway, so it's all good. Uh, it feels like it's got a book or something inside of it. I sigh. Fine. I'll do it. What a guy. Alright. Well, thanks a bunch. 
Gifted still in 3-2 name Yei Katashi. I'm counting on you. Y Yai Katashi? Okay. Alright. No, no sooner does she say that than she disappears once again. But she just can't sit still, can she? I'm, well, I suppose they better get going too. No telling how long this Yai person is going to be there for. <laughs> uh, probably for plot convenience there until you get there. Um, I finished packing up and headed the classrooms on the third floor. Alright then. Um, do 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 Here we go, I'm going up the stairs! <laughs> that's, that's my travel music. Alright, here we go. I arrive on the third floor of your student's classroom with Akami's package. And look for the person I'm supposed to deliver it to. But some of the other students tell me she stepped out for a bit. What other fucking students? It's all empty! Alright, imagination! <laughs> okay. Um, she should be back soon and then I can just wait for her. But ten minutes pass, and she's still nowhere to be found. Oh damn! Maybe I should have one of the other people give it to her and just go. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, school's over. Most of the students have uh, have been at their club activities for a while now. Uh, while I'm waiting for the third year classroom, the other students file out, and the school grounds slowly becomes the world of life. The noise of the take time activity has all but disappeared. Oh no! I feel like I'm in detention. I want to go home already. <laughs> oh god. Wow, why don't you just leave it on her desk then, or whatever? I don't know, or inside of it. Alright, with a note. Give it off, I leave the classroom and turn towards the stairwell. Alright, my classroom is on the second floor, so I usually don't spend any time up here. The other two floors is pretty much identical, but somehow I feel like this is some alternate dimension. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's why the fucking things aren't labeled there. Alright, and just as I'm about to descend the stairs, I start to hear what I think are sobs coming from nearby. Uh-oh! Oh, oh no, 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 we, we got trouble now! Here we go, guys! Um, huh? I figured I was alone, and had relaxed because of that. But the sudden sobbing catches me off guard, and I freeze. Oh, here we go, here we go! Uh, I'm my breath, stretch my ears. It's not my imagination. Someone nearby is crying softly. <laughs> oh no! I hear someone crying in an empty school building. Sounds like the beginning of a horror story. Well, maybe this is a horror story. Oh God! Um, what am I saying? This isn't a horror story. Uh, in, in fact, it's called Love at First Sight, so I'm guessing it's a love story. But whatever, this <laughs> might be over. But the sun hasn't gone down yet. Finding someone else in the building isn't that strange. Well, I say that, but the situation is, isn't exactly normal either. Well, you're in the fucking school. That's it's not that bad. The sobbing continues. Well, the sobbing is pretty bad, but, but the sobbing continues. It sounds like it's coming from the, the next floor up. Oh, okay, so there's the fourth one. And it's quiet, but it reverberates off the narrow stairwell's walls. It's definitely coming from the floor above me. No, I didn't realize it until now. Alright then. But this building only has three floors. Uh, the only thing above me is the roof, right? Well, then she's probably on the roof or something there. Um, school is over. The door to the roof should be locked by now. But I can still hear the crying, so there's no way it could be coming from them. <laughs> well then just just fucking check it out though. The door is locked. That, that means the way up there is a dead end. I can't just walk up there and check the <laughs> and claim I haven't a walk by <laughs> just fucking go! Who cares if you're crying? Just check it out, Boro. Um but before I can think it through, my curiosity has me turning around and heading back up the stairs. Fucking finally, these about time, bro. Alright. I climb step by step up the stairs as quietly as I can. Though, I can't help but make a little noise. Well, that, that's how it goes, man. Everybody make a little noise. Um, as I get close to the source of the sobbing, I begin to hear it more clearly. It's just one voice, and judging by the sound of it, it's girls. Oh no, it's the little girls! Um, it feels like I'm climbing up ten stores. It only takes a few seconds, and suddenly I'm almost on the landing. Oh, oh, oh! I take one last step and turn towards the source of the crime. Oh, oh, close the buttons! Ah, the tent's shown! And in front of me is a girl wearing a girl's uniform. She's lying against the door to the roof, sobbing. Oh, damn. The girl hears me wa walking towards her and starts shivering as, as she turns her head towards me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nothing up to this point has been too out of the ordinary. At least, until I saw a face. Oh, oh god, here we go! Here we go! Oh no! Oh, it's a fucking gigantic animal! <laughs> oh my god! And the huge unibrow to top it off too. <laughs> okay, well, we have cyclopses, and, and, and her uniform's all stitched up. <laughs> but all right, interesting. She's been beat up, or maybe bullied. Um, 
<laughs> I, I like the the question mark and the, the that. that that's cool um the, the girl stares at me with her single eye her face sobbing wet from crying and I, and I don't mean that she was missing an eye she really had one giant eye in the middle of her face yeah how the fuck does that work but all right and how much water comes out of her face if it's all sobbing wet but damn um Suddenly, and how does she have tears on both sides? You only have one tear duct. It's got to be from either side here, unless they're both they're both connected. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about this too much. A bit of the light reflects off the unwiped tears near her wide open eye. I can tell by the way she's looking at me that that she's terrified. Um, okay. Well, this isn't normal. Um, she's not the only one though. <laughs> yeah, I, God, she thinks she's gonna like just shoot lasers out of that thing. <laughs> Um, without really understanding what I'm looking at, I stare at her. I'm moving, and she does the same. <laughs> oh god, now they're both staring at each other. Um, she's wearing her school's uniform. But is she really a student here? How would you not hear of this? Alright. Um, uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you got a better view of her. She's got a long ass skirt, too. Goddamn. Alright, well, holy shit, girl. Uh, why is your uniform just so fucking gnarlyfied? Alright. Uh, 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 oh, awkward conversation. This is what we're good at here. Oh God. Um, no matter how many times I blink, a second eye doesn't seem to grow on her face. And I finally realize that what I'm seeing is reality. Yeah, reality. <laughs> we're, we're all with that. Um, fa face with this girl. It looks like she's belongs in a fairy tale. I begin to panic. Strangely though, I'm, I, I'm able to keep my fright from showing. Oh, okay. Um, the situation is so real. I guess my brain just refuses to fully acknowledge it. Oh. Uh, I, I heard crying and I came to see what's going on. Are, are you alright? Oh, there you go. The longer the silence drags on, the harder it becomes to break it. I try to come up with something, anything, to say, <laughs> to say to force myself out of this stupor. But my mind is completely blank. At this point, anything is better than si He just fucking said it, though. Well, anyway. Uh... uh uh, <laughs> oh, okay. It, it seems her mind is just as blank as mine. I work my mouth soundlessly a few times before finally spearing out the first thing that comes to mind. He just said something, though. Do you need something to wipe your face? <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, her uniform is black, so I can't tell if it's her if it's wet from her crying into it. She doesn't have a handkerchief or anything, though. I produce my own ha handkerchief from my pocket and move it over to her. Like, who the fuck carries handkerchiefs nowadays? I mean, seriously! But whatever, this anime, whatever, plot convenience. I approach the girl sitting at the top of the stairs and give her the handkerchief. And once again, she starts shivering in fear. Why? I just gave you a handkerchief. L unless she has, like, handkerchief trauma. <laughs> I mean, god, those things are scary. Um, yeah. She looks at me like I'm some kind of a monster. Am I really that scary? Isn't she the monster? <laughs> oh, don't say that aloud. Um. Okay, you can you, you can stare at me. Th th thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. I, I I I guess that's her blush. Like, why don't they have noses? Where are the noses? <laughs> but the, okay, okay. I hold the handkerchief out stiffly for several seconds, then cautiously, oh so cautiously, takes takes the handkerchief and wipes her face. Oh, okay. So she's shy. I, I get that. Kind of reminds me of Hanako from Kanawa Sojo. Um, uh, those are the first words she's spoken so far. But her trembling voice is so quiet that I almost don't hear her. Um, uh, I only transferred to this school about two months ago. I don't think I've ever seen you around. Um, <laughs> seen you around? That, 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 that's fun. <laughs> but this is definitely the first time I've met, of course. And I'm sure that if I had seen her before, her face would have been burned into my mind. There's no way I can forget what I'm saying now. He's doing the sick puns again, but... Alright, um... Should I ask her to give my handkerchief back? It's obvious from the way she's looking at me, she's still confused and afraid. Oh, God! Uh, we're not getting anywhere at this rate. Um, we must be in different classes, since I haven't seen you around before. What grade in class are you in? I'm from 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> okay. Um, class 1-2. Oh, so she's like a year younger? Um, she actually gave me a proper response this time. She's really a student here, I, I guess. Not a monster or something. Well, yeah, I, I assume. Suddenly, it hits me that I've been sharing the same school and hell, the same world with this... 
person all this time. Wow. I, I don't know about this Mamoru guy. He doesn't seem like a very nice dude. Uh, oh, one year lower then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great, great conversation here. Um, the conversation grinds so all again. I can't think of anything else to say. Well, actually, that's not true. They have a mountain of things I want to ask her. <laughs> yeah, goddamn. But all of it has to do with her appearance. And I'm hesitant to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be a little delicate. Um, time passes as I hardly try to think of something to say to fill the silence. You can ask why she's all beat up, at least. What can I say? My mind is totally blank. Uh, every heartbeat seems louder than the last, and, and, and the panic I thought I had subsided, subsided wells up inside my mind again. I don't think I can keep this up. <laughs> Shit, man! You can easily talk to her. Right. I, I have to get going. <laughs> oh, okay. Just fucking pusses out. Um, uh, uh, the girl looks like she wants to say more, but without another word, I turn and flee downstairs. He just fucking books it. What a guy! I head to the sheer rack, change my shoes, and start rushing home. Okay. Wow. He just fucking flees from her, just like that. I, I walk on for a few more seconds after clearing the campus gates. Then I pause for a moment and take a deep breath. Jeez, it seems that girl didn't follow me or even call after me. She said, wait though, all right, what a guy. She's probably still sitting on the top of the steps in that desolate stairway. A cool wind is blowing as I walk home and I gradually regain my composure. My heart is still racing though. I think I'm gonna feel uneasy about what just happened for a long time. <laughs> okay, buddy, okay, well, I guess that's a good place to end this episode here. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, that was, uh, different. Okay. <laughs> it's just water. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This was different. <laughs> I just said the same thing. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little episode here. Oh, uh, that's usual. If you guys do want to see more, you know, just hit that like button. Just gonna leave a comment. It's, that's cool with me. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, I just felt like showing this game off because it's just so... different. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. <laughs>